Uh, I mean, it means a lot to him, you know. I mean, we go out there and we block a lot. And to get the ball in a big critical moment, you know, it's really rewarding for all that. Block. I mean, it's cool to see your guys score a touchdown. Like, the wise we have a saying, wise lead the way. And, you know, when we can go out there and, you know, be the game winner, it's huge for us. And it, it means the world to all of us. I'm, I'm really happy for DP for that. Um, you know, it's huge. There's a lot of seniors on the team that haven't been in a bowl game. Uh, my roommate, Mike Maddy, you know, he's not been to a bowl game. Uh, it means the world to get those guys to the bowl game, honestly. Uh, you know, you talk about it all the time. You go home after games and practices, and you're like, you know, we just got to get that one more win, that one more win. And you're claw clawing, scratching, and fighting to get that win, and you finally get it. And just that's all this relief off your shoulders. Now, we still got another game left, but to finally get that sixth win and know you're going to a bowl game, it's huge. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, his whole purpose for coming back was to go to a bowl game, you know, to better himself and go to a bowl game, help this team out because he really cared for us. Uh, so when a guy comes back for, I don't know, his sixth, seventh, eighth year of college football, you know, it, you do everything you can to get into that game because he's sacrificing for you. He's been here a very long time. What did you say? Uh, I mean, just, you know, the moments were just big hugs. Uh, I mean, I embraced him on the field and I told him how much I appreciate him and loved him. I mean, he's a cool guy, a guy who I'll, you know, talk to for the rest of my life. So there's moments like that you'll never forget, though. Nico, your touchdown, is that one when the call comes in, you, you know you've got a real good chance to score? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, we executed all week in practice and it works and you finally get to that play and you know it's go time. So I say I had a pretty good chance. I just had to run fast. That's all. Uh, very grateful to Beatty. Uh, he came up to me on the sideline. He told me, he said, uh, he dialed that play up for me. He said, because they kept, you know, going to him with the ball. So I appreciate Beatty for that one. What, what's the coaching staff's message after Florida scores in overtime, you know, knowing you all need a touchdown and are probably going to go for two? Uh, just stay the course and stay to your training. I mean, we've done it all season. I mean, we know we're capable of scoring in these big moments. We practice it every week. So, you know, just stay calm, stay poised, and go execute. That's what we're good at. I mean, yeah, Tyler's a big part of this offense. I mean, he's really good at what he does. So when they start keying in on him, it's time for us to step up and help him out. You know, he does all the work. He's a workhorse for us. So, I mean, after a while, the guys got to step up and make plays, and that's what happened tonight, I think. What do you, what do you see from, from Connor throughout the course of that game? Uh, composure. Uh, you know, sometimes things aren't going well early in the game, and, you know, we may, might not be throwing the ball as much as we want to or running it as well as we want to, and we're struggling. But, you know, just staying calm, staying poised, and you know, executing under the big moments when it mattered. I mean, he showed he was a true leader. Anything else for Nico? What was on your bucket list making a bowl game in terms of college football? Pretty high. That right beneath like a national championship up there.